It is the home opener here in Spartanburg, South Carolina for the Whopper Terriers, who have surprised the folks by winning their first two games on the road. But tonight, the task is the toughest so far. Nationally ranked William & Mary pays a visit in a rematch of a game that the Tribe won last year in Williamsburg. And well, right now, Harris is back for the Tribe. Kegel boots it, and we are underway here in Spartanburg at the goal line. We'll bring it out, right side, get over the 20, and get down to about the 22, and that's where William & Mary will take over. The Tribe won a 26 yard line. Wilson gonna go over the middle and that's a first down right in the slot in the slot sitting down is gonna be Hollis Mathis. Talk about the triple threat. Tribe is 40% on third down this season. Wilson is gonna look to throw, flips it out to the sideline and that's a great pitch and catch for the first down. He found Damian Harris, the senior from Durham. Harris had 1,100 career yards, five touchdowns with Bucknell. One of those guys they brought over in the portal. Now it's Yoder on first down, and he's weaving his way out for about six on first down. Bronson Yoder finally brought down. No score here in Spartanburg. And this time it's gonna be Emo, who has good yardage. He's gonna pick up about six, close to seven. Malachi Emo finally brought down by C.J. Coombs, and you are seeing all the wetting traffic in the shotgun. It'll be Emo. He's got the first down. William and Mary doing exactly what we thought they do, pounding the football, and they will have so far. Whopper's got a chance to get off the field here as Wilson takes the snap. Got a good pocket and a completion and another first down. Spinning for the yardage is J.T. Mayo. Radisha with the stop, but the Tribe converts yet again. To point out a few things, maybe changing a play at the line of scrimmage here on first down. A little flip to Mathis, who evades two Terriers. Now he's got some green grass to work with. Inside the five, down to about the two. The one. All right, so we've got a tight end of the backfield. Give us to Emo, picks his way across the goal line, and he is in for the first score of the night. Malachi Emo from a couple of yards out. And William & Mary strike time with 8.08 to go first quarter. Eric Bernstein on to attempt the extra point. He knocks that one through, and one drive in the books for William & Mary. They take a from their own 26. That's Odom in the shotgun. They'll rush four. Throws it, and it's going to be incomplete. Good, tough defense. The dead receiver was Jack Purdy. But Richmond, Wilson, is going to throw. Across the field, looking for Harris, but it's incomplete. And finally, the Whopper Terriers get off the field on third down. That's another long throw. He made the first one from it, from the far hash to the... To play another year for Sean Watson. It's Whopper their first first down of the game. Now Odom is back to pass, and he's going deep into triple coverage. Ooh, that one was almost picked. He was looking for Kyle Watkins to I, I think a he shot, too. He goes on, but right now, Akins is in motion for Whopper on third and ten. Tribe rushing four. They dump it off. Nice catch, but run down from behind. Whopper one of the horse caller attacker on JT Smith, but they are not going to get it. Hendrick is standing at his own 40 for the Tribe. Another low line drive. It is going to be returnable, and Kendrick makes the first man miss, and he's got some room across the middle. It's across midfield into Whopper territory. Picked his way through the special team defense very nicely. And William and Mary will start in plus territory after a th in uh, in one of their first two games. So Harris goes down to get the snap. Blitz comes. He gets it off. It's complete. Hollis Matthews, Mathis, that man again, down to the Wofford 40-yard line. Once again, it was Radisha on the blitz, and he almost got 1,000. Excuse me, let me let me temper that a little bit. Once again, the carry, and once again, well, this time they get a little bit of a push, but not a whole lot. Miller bottled up, but he's probably going to entering this ball game a four-year starter at quarterback. Now Harris, once again. Lots of room, first down Tribe. They are rolling them up, or Miller, excuse me. Josh behind them right now. Empty backfield now for Wilson. 
He'll pull it down and run. Across the middle, and finally they wrap him up. A good open field tackle by Maximus Pulley, who is going to let Wilson know about it a little bit. And we have reached Darius Wilson, the quarterback. Takes the snap. He's got time. He's had time all game. Now he's going to try to run for it. And I don't know if he got there. Depends on the spot. He did not get there. It looks about a half yard short. The shotgun with Ingram to his left on third and two. And in motion, they'll hand off to Ingram. And everybody went with Corriston. And Ingram punches it out across the 30 for a terrible. Nationally ranked Furman here at Gibbs Stadium. Oh, it's Ingram. Up the middle. Room again. Bouncing off the fenders. First down for Ryan Ingram into William and Mary territory. There's the line to block, and Wofford is getting good blocking up front. First down. A little reverse. This is going to be Aikens out across the 40. Dives over to 35 for another Terrier first down. And now the Wofford offense. First to 10 Terriers on the march. Fake. Odom looking for the home run. He's going to go deep, and it's going to be complete inside the 10-yard line. He hooked up with Kyle Watkins. Right into Watkins' hands. First and goal offered from the eight. DeJetti in motion. Ingram up the middle, bounces outside, and he will stroll into the end zone for a Terrier touchdown, and Wofford is a PAT away from tying this one up. Again, I'll say it, that, that, that drive, all the credit goes to the offensive line. Um, some adjustments were made, and they blocked much better at the point of attack on that drive uh, than they did in their, their previous two drives. Here is the backup kicker, Debrie Cagle. Bridger Jones hurt during pregame warm-ups, and all he does is knock it through. So minutes. Second and five, William and Mary out at their own 40. Wide receiver in motion. Yoder with a, uh, excuse me, a nice keeper and a first down. Wilson with a good ball fake and a little flip to JT Mayo, who is in motion, and that'll move the since William and Mary. That was a holding penalty, so it'll back them up first and 20 now from their own 35. Back to throw. Wilson throws an absolute rope for a first down and dancing down the sideline after the comp go down the field in just a moment as Wilson rolls. Down reverses field, gets a block. He's dangerous in the open field, and finally upended head over heels. But he got the first down as we go down. Terry is behind the sticks on third and 15. Blitz comes right up the middle. They'll dump it off to Yoder, and he's got room. Yoder spins close to the sticks, but he'll be a few yards short. Finally making the tackle was Amira Nor, but Yoder so dangerous. From the left hash, that kick is up. It's got plenty of distance. And he missed it. Appeared to have push it wide. So we see uh, maybe that's why they went for it on fourth down earlier. And the other the push as Watkins goes in motion, then reverses back to the left. It's Ingram up the middle with a huge hole. First down and a lot more for Ryan Ingram. Pinballing his way out over the 45-yard line. A gain of 26 for the fifth-year senior. Terriers after the big loss on second. Odom faces a blitz. Can he get out of it? Ball is loose. Who's got it? It looks like the tribe is on it. And the first turnover for is Odom just had that thing knocked out from behind. Trying to say that his arm was going forward. I, I think I think the Don't ball was out. So. I think it was a I think it was an empty hand coming forward. That may have been Hammond that made the strip and fell on the ball. Let's just start something new. <laughs> Too much like soccer. Two-minute two snack break works for me, too. <laughs> Need a snack, yeah. All right, third and five, Tribe. Harris over the middle, wide open. And getting the first down, that is that man again, Hollis. William & Mary on display tonight. First and 10, Tribe from the 29. This time it's Yoder. One of those guys, he's got a hole, and no one is going to catch Bronson Yoder. It is a 19-yard touchdown scamper, and William & Mary retakes the lead. Nice job out of the tribe there, taking advantage of Wofford's first turnover, running behind the right side. Nice cut back there by Yoder back into the middle of the field. Gave him the crease he needed to uh, get into the end zone. And good. Wayman Mary will go back up by seven. We'll take a timeout here from Spartanburg. Off here. Second down and 14 after the loss. 
Odom over the middle, complete. Making the catch is Isaiah Scott. He's on the Wofford logo at midfield, and now Wofford. If they, burn it, if they clock it or burn it to goal range, or even better, as Odom drops back again. This time going deep. He's got him in, and that's going to be complete. It's Scott again inside the 10 yard line, and Wofford is knocking on the door. From the 10, ball touching the yard line. JT Smith has it, but instead it's going to be Amari Odom on the keeper. Gets his way down close to the goal line, a little bit short. Maybe all the way down to the one in the redshirt freshman quarterback showing off. It's a goal from the one. It's Smith. Touchdown, Terriers. Wofford roars back, and they can tie it up. What an impressive drive. And remember, at one point, Wofford had second and 15 because of a, of a bobbled snap that they had to fall on. So nice job by the Terriers responding to VM. Uh, I keep calling them VMI. They're not. They drove his man three deep into the end zone. Devery Cable gets it through. Wofford's backup kicker. And somehow, it kind of feels that William and Mary do this blindside blitz. You never know we'd be able to knock the ball loose. And there's a blitz, but this time it's up the middle, and Harris dumps it off to the tight end. Gets some pot of yardage. Big hit down there as Shaw McElwain took one from Isaiah Wadsworth. Five seconds, and William and Mary is just going to take this one to the break, and we've decided absolutely nothing in 30 minutes. Boy, are you not entertained after that first? Waiting the kickoff from Eric Bernstein. Parsons will handle it on his own four. Able to run back every kickoff so far. Parsons jumps through the middle. It's another good one. He took a big shot, though, right there in that game. Wofford only by about 15 yards, 200 to 185 in the first half as Odom. Little jump pass that's going to be complete, and that should be a first down catch. And that is going to be, I believe, the tie. Wofford, who received votes in the last poll. Here comes the blitz. Odom, does he see it? He's going to let it go, and it's broken up. Nice defensive play. Jaden Joyner, the senior from Washington, from the 28th. They got to get to the 30 for the first down. Wilson, pitch and catch. Easy one for the first down. Hooks up with the tight end. McDonald, and William and Mary will move the sticks. Trey McDonald, the junior tight end preseason 40 in the 41 now we'll call it 39 tickling the 41 yard line William and Mary's been outstanding six for ten on third down conversion in the first half Whopper brings pressure but it's picked up and that is going to leave open in the middle is that emo back in the game I believe it might it is. be in the opener and then 23 unanswered take the lead and eventually hold on for the win at Richmond last week second down up the middle, it's Ingram again. Oh, shoestring tackle. He's out to the 40. Will operate from the shotgun with Smith to his left. Two wide receivers at the bottom of your screen. Here comes William and Mary after him. Dumps it across, and it's just off the fingertips. Oh, that would have been a good pitch and catch, but Scott just could not handle it. It'll bring up fourth down. Great recruiting find by the tribe, and now Wilson will operate on third down. Complete lunging ahead. Did Mathis get it with that second effort? He looks to be just a little bit short. He's, he's maybe a half. Weber Mary up on the ball quick, maybe trying to get the Terriers to jump as well. They snap it. It's Yoder, and he's going to be stopped. And they will turn it over on downs. How about that play? Maximus it was Pulley. Maximus Pulley. Are you not entertained? <laughs> Came straight in from his safety position, and we may look back at that play. Oh, they gave him first on the previous play. Oh, you're kidding me! Everybody thought it was fourth the down. The sticks had us. moved. Yeah. Oh my goodness! So that was only a loss on first down on a first down play. Now it's third and long two. And Yoder has the first down. Oh, well, now he's close. Yeah, I, he's right at the line. I, I, I'm not going to say anything anymore because I thought they were short on the previous one. It, and I'm, they bring in the power formation, couple of tight ends on the left side of the formation. Straight ahead handoff. It's Emo, and he makes a man move and gets the miss and gets the first down. He was oh, heal somebody off the pile. Another second and short. Yoder again. Again makes a man move down the sideline. 20, 
into the red zone, still moving, out of bounds inside the 10. Once again, first and goal from the four. Empty backfield behind Wilson. Quarterback draw, design run, touchdown, William & Mary. Darius Wilson from four yards out and for the third time tonight, William & Mary takes the lead. Hat on a hat here, Tom. Yeah, just block the guy in front of you and let your quarterback do what he needs to do to. Done this at Towson, Rutgers, Monmouth. Now he does it at William & Mary. Miss. Third down's been a problem for the Terriers. Only one for six tonight. Trip wide receivers to the top of the screen as Odom drops blitz comes and he cannot connect with Purdy across the middle. And Wofford is gonna have to kick it away. That's exactly what William and Mary Barry is playing with the lead. Again, as Wilson is going to hand it off. They're going to ride Bronson Yoder, and why not? In the midfield again, Yoder's down to the 37-yard line. Give him. Drive right up on the football, trying to deliver a dagger. Yoder oh, pulls out. Got it knocked out. Terrier's trying to scoop it. And did they fall on it? They nope. did not. Oh, what a missed opportunity for Wofford as Yoder coughed it up. Now, coming away with the ball is going to be Coombs, but I saw one official yeah, say... they signaled William and Mary football. Yeah, we'll have to sort this out. There's the ball down. A couple of Terriers with a shot at it. They are changing it and giving it to Wofford. All right, so that will be Wofford ball, and oh, what a big play is... Yoder was rumbling. What a hit by Wadsworth to knock that ball out, and I'm pretty sure it was C.J. Coombs who came away with the football. Is it Yoder that is down? But on third and 10, Parsons is the running back. Odom steps up in the pocket, going deep. That one's covered, but somehow Watkins makes the catch inside the 20. Kind of fought his way back to the football. Motion to the top. Odom is back to pass. He's got time, steps into one, and it's caught in the corner of the end zone for a touchdown. Jack Purdy, first collegiate score, and Wofford can tie it up yet again. Great throw, great bump. It turned out to be the redshirt freshman. How about that laser from Odom to Purdy? On to kick it. Again, if you're just joining us, Bridger Jones, Wofford's regular kicker, strained his leg in pregame. Devery Cagle knocks it through. We are tied up at 21 with Ted Citadel and Furman winning their first two this year. Back to pass is Wilson. Pressure comes. He dumps it off to Yoder, who's back in the game, and he throws it for a first down. And now, I'll tell you what. The guy's like Superman. Gets hurt, coughs up the football, comes back. Wilson under center. Back to pass, got plenty of time, and then the pocket breaks down. He can take it out of there, and he will just easily skip out of bounds. See where he stepped out. I think they're going to give him the first down, and they do. He did a nice job of knowing where the marker was. If it's nationally in passing efficiency this season. Give us to Yoder, trying to pick his way through the blocker. He shows tremendous patience and then bounces it outside. He is still going. Finally run out of bounds after a gain of 15. They Dude. both run just... Yep, it's been, it's been interesting. Ball at the 40. Now he moved it back another yard. We'll call it second and six. Emo again. Quick hitter. Breaks one tackle. Plunges forward for a first time. Malachi Emo. Oh, this senior class oh, in this tie game, 21-21. Wilson on second down, going to give it to Emo. Emo slashes through, first down. Moore stays in bounds, finally driven out, but he's inside the red zone, and it'll be first and 10, try nine. Darius Wilson running the show offensively for William & Mary. Emo is in the backfield. Looking for Emo in the flat. That's covered. Now Wilson will run, showing off those legs, and he dances forward. I think he may have gotten the first. Depends on the spot. I would agree with that. First and goal from the six. Tribe looking to retake the lead here late in the fourth quarter. Power formation. Keeper, Wilson. 
down to the two, maybe the one. And he's not that big a guy. It's Yoder. He's in. Touchdown. Wofford started to protest it. That may be better if they're going to score. You, you'll score on that play and save some time. But Bronson Yoder with his second touchdown of the game. William & Mary is back in front. Good job Wrench. on the right side of that. Off. Low snap. Kick is up. And it is good. So for the fourth time tonight, William and Mary had Whopper with all three timeouts. First and 10 from the 25. Play action pass. Odom lays it down. Did Scott pull it in? He did. He did. Oh, what body control by the freshman from Miami. And Wofford's out to midfield. And he rolled his ankle while he did it. Wow, got that one foot down. That's all you need in college. And another beautiful throw by Amari Odom. Not a rolled ankle, it's a cramp. <laughs> and go for it on fourth down. Let's see how it plays out. Odom is back to pass. That seems to be the plan, and he can't connect with Ricky Shaw. Not a throw to behind him, and now it looks pretty dire for the home team here on. Here we go. Fourth down, 25. Odom takes the snap. William and Mary rushes three. Amari's going to chuck it down there, and it is going to be picked off by William and Mary. The interception made by Marcus Barnes. Personal foul. Roughing the passer. Roughing the passer. Number one on defense. 15 yard penalty in the previous spot. Puts an automatic oh first down. Oh, my goodness. What a huge call with 2.36 to go. I don't see any complaining or hear anything in the booth next to us, which is the William & Mary coaches booth. Let's take another look at it here. Odom stepped up. I thought he might have crossed. Oh, it, if he got hit, yeah, it was late because... Because the camera was already off. Here it is right now and right there. Yeah, oh, that's Davin Dezenio. And Wofford has new light. Odom dancing. He will run it. Got some room. First down. Down to the William and Mary 35 with 225 to be looking to go two and one on this season. Third down and long. Odom with Parsons in the backfield. Will take a straight drop. Steps up. Throws it. On the sideline, it is incomplete. I think that Jenny caught it, but he was out of bounds and look up. Smith is the running back. Try brush four. Smith steps up, lets it go, caught Purdy. Oh, I think he's going to be a little bit short based on the spot. Let's see. Yeah, I think he's a full yard. By moving the chains right here, and it'll be Yoder. Runs into his own man, still working, and he did not get it. But now the clock will continue to run. They'll run it down inside a minute, the play. Group. So Amir Anor is back. Let's we'll see if Whopper tries to come after this one. You know they'll try. They get it off. Not a very good punt. And it goes out of bounds in the William & Mary bench. Well, keep everything in front of you and keep everything in the middle of the field. Don't let Whopper work the sidelines. Odom steps up in the pocket, lets it fly. It's complete downfield. That's Isaiah Scott. Now Wofford's got to get up on the ball and clock it. 21 seconds. The stop. Got to be first and 10. No, he clocked it. Oh, clock it. Yeah, second down. There you go. Odom steps up again. Now he's going to let it go. Porter is that go. Almost caught by Purdy. He had Incomplete. a step. Incomplete. Oh, my goodness. That was almost the game-tying touchdown. Had a step on his man. No play. Regulation. Amari Odom is going to move up and launch it into the end zone. And it is incomplete. And William and Mary will escape Spartanburg with a 28 to 21 win. What a ball game here between these two opponents of the CAA and the Southern Conference. Bronson Yoder with a couple of touchdowns for the tribe. They go to two and one on the season. Whopper falls 